Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Last week I said I'd be making a little bit more videos lately, so I decided to hold true to that. And this one's going to be on my Synology Disk Station DS416J. Uh, just to start off, I bought this a few months ago, and I've been pretty happy with it so far. It cost $290 off Newegg, brand new. It's four bays, that's set a 3.5 inch. I think you can also adapt it to 2.5, but yeah. Um, it's got a gigabit port in the back and a USB 3 and a USB 2.0. So, um, the reason I bought it was because I was kind of sick of carrying around, you know, external hard drives and USBs, trying to, um, you know, keep track of all my data and everything. And there's services like Google Drive and Dropbox and everything, but that's all stored on the internet. And I think it'd be a little bit nicer to have something that stores all of my, you know, hundreds of gigabytes of photos and videos and stuff uh, on my own network rather than trying to, to grab it all from the internet. So, so far it's treated me very well. Uh, it's a decent price for what it is. NASA's get really expensive. Where I work they have one that's an 8-bay rather than this little 4-bay. And uh, they get really, really pricey. Um, and this one's actually a pretty good price for what it is. Um, it's designed pretty well. I like the way it looks. But getting disks in and out could be a teensy bit easier. It, it's not a screwless design. It has four knobs in the back that you take off, which is easy enough. But you have to um, take screws out of the drive caddies when you put them in or take them out. So that's not a big deal because it's not like I'm taking discs in and out every single day or anything. Um, what I notice about it is that it has a brilliant, brilliantly designed software interface. It kind of has a sort of desktop style environment uh, or even, you know, the color balance is amazing. But uh, it's really easy to install and configure the discs. You basically slap them in and you can configure them as you know, good old-fashioned RAID, or you can also use something called Synology Hybrid RAID, which I think is really neat, because it's not old-fashioned RAID in that it actually um, detects your drives a little bit differently and splits up into different kind of logical blocks and utilizes way more of your storage volumes when you have mismatched disks. So you can put like a one terabyte and a two terabyte in and uh, get full data redundancy and get, you know, 1.5 or two terabytes out of it rather than um, with RAID 1, you only get, you know, one terabyte. So that's a very nice thing to use. It's easy to set up for people who don't have a lot of knowledge, but it still gives you the, the technical options if you really know what you're doing. Um, the shares are easy to set up and manage, too. It supports Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, which is pretty awesome. The reason for that is because it supports a lot of different network protocols, like CIFS, NFS, FTP, and iSCSI. So basically, you know, the same share is accessible on numerous different operating systems. I, I believe it uses the XFAT uh, format style, but I'm not entirely certain about that. Um, which you really don't need to know because it's, it's very transparent. It just, it just works. That's the beautiful thing about it. Another thing that struck me was the amount of software applications that are available for this unit. It actually, it's a lot more than just a NAS. At least it can be. You can configure it to be a DNS server, an SMTP server, a SQL server, a proxy server, a RADIUS server, which is used for authentication purposes, a single sign-on server, a VPN server, and even a WordPress or Tomcat web server, which is amazing. Um, it does a lot more than just be a little network attached storage. It does only have half a gigabyte of memory, so you have to be pretty careful about uh, not overstepping your bounds and installing too many services on it because I think it might get a little bit sluggish, but it's still just amazing how much it does besides just be a uh, be a NAS. Of course, if you want to just be a NAS, you don't have to use any of those other software programs if you don't want. So the read and write speeds with this thing are pretty great. Uh, it has gigabit ethernet, so you'd expect you know, a maximum of 125 megabytes a second or gigabit when you're reading and writing from it, and that's almost what you get, you know, the disks, I mean, hard drives usually write about 140, 150 megabytes a second anyway, um, but it's not a huge bottleneck to have gigabit Ethernet, because all devices are only gigabit anyway, you know, if, if, if I were blowing enough money to buy 10 gigabit network cables and network cards and all my computers, I would have got something a little bit more expensive than a $300 NAS, but overall, the uh, read write speeds are good, and it functions pretty zippy. So a couple other thoughts. Um, it is designed nicely, it looks nice, and I really like it, but the case sometimes seems to vibrate and make this kind of annoying noise when the discs are on sometimes. It's really not that big of a deal. It hasn't been doing it a lot lately, but sometimes I just put like a little rubbery object on it and it kind of dampens the vibrations down a little bit. Um, I also noticed that sometimes the discs 
seem to really like to turn on when you don't really want them to. It's easy to change those power settings so that the discs turn off after 10 minutes or so, but um, I still find them turning down sometimes when I don't really want them to. Uh, of course, you get more performance out of that, but um, it's no big deal. So overall, I'm very happy with my purchase. Uh, it's a great way to get a good network attached storage for you know not that much money. I have a couple 4 terabyte hard drives in it right now that I'm basically using in RAID 1 and I can expand that in the future very easily without having to actually copy the data off it. I could buy a third 4 terabyte drive uh, for another 150 bucks and plop it in and migrate to basically a RAID 5 without having to transfer any of that data anywhere else, which is another really great feature. So I've dumped about $600 into this with the unit and the hard drives and everything, but I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's a little box that'll be sitting in uh, wherever I live for the next years, so it's not really going to get outdated for a while. So overall, I'm very happy with it. I really like Synology. My experience with Synology with the other NASs I worked with has been nothing but positive. I think they put a lot of good effort into their products, and I think anyone else looking to buy this would be happy as well. Hey everyone, I usually don't do this, but if you enjoyed the video, please do like and subscribe if you'd like. It really lets me know that people are out there enjoying my videos and uh, appreciating the content I make. So, again, thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next videos.